Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this is a review on the Giant Man Builder Figure series of Ant Man. Uh, that's right, Ant Man got an action figure in the six inch scale. I just want to show you this action figure, how cool it looks. God, there's been different scales for him, but this one is a real nice action figure here. One thing to notice, right here, the belt, his canisters here, that's a sculpted detail. The glove area here is actually sculpted, right here, that little detail here, it's not just painted on. This area is painted on, same thing with the symbol here. And uh, he does have some boots here, some detailing on it. One thing that's really cool for this version of Hank Pym is that when you remove the helmet, this is a really nice uh, head sculpt for an action figure. Just trying to show you the detail on the head sculpt. You could see it even has like some, they put some shading in the hair here. There's a serious look to him. It's a really nice uh, sculpted detail. And uh, this is the helmet. It has uh, little markings in the front here. And the antennas right here. It's a really nice piece, but Hank Pym, it's a good action figure, but it's hidden when you want to put him fully in costume, so you just see that, but it's a nice detail to get that they would do that for the action figure. So let's just check it out. You can go up and down and side to side real easy on the sculpt here. The ball jointed shoulders here, side to side, up and down, and a upper bicep cut. These are like standard articulation points for the most part by Toy Biz. Does have a double elbow, and even though this is a sculpted on, a little detail, the wrist goes in and out, can go 360, and the four fingers do close into a fist. But it just looks better as a fist, really. How it's made. Same thing here. In and out on the wrist. And the four fingers here. One articulation point. Meant to have an open hand, really. Maybe like pointing. Ab crunch. Nice. Up and down. Waist side to side. This is the ball jointed hips. And go up and down. Can go in and out. Usual type, double knees, right above the boot area here, one uh, point of articulation. The feet can go up and down, they do have the side to side movements, and they do have toe articulation. This figure would go great with a wasp action figure if you bought that one as well. They made a regular scale version of her that I reviewed. On this channel. It did not, uh, this uh, Ant-Man figure didn't have any ants with him though. Would have been cool if they had some small ant accessories to add to the figure, but they didn't. But overall, a real good action figure, uh, and if you could find it in the secondary market or a fan of the character, he is a founding member of the Avengers, so I can't go wrong with that. So thanks for watching and talk to you later. You want to know the biggest enemy of Ant-Man? Who controls ants and can speak to them? No, the biggest enemy is not the masters of evil. The biggest enemy is raid.